there is no peace amongst the stars. It is the 41st millennium, and there is only war. We live in the Imperium of Mankind, the greatest empire the galaxy has ever known. Millions of planets united in their adoration for the Emperor. But we are not alone. Fell Xenos covet our worlds. Be it the insidious Eldar, expansionist Tau, or the brutal Orcs. Armageddon is such a crucible. It is a planet any species in our empty galaxy would crave. Rich in mineral wealth and a manufacturing powerhouse, producing countless ordnance for the Imperial War effort. To be an inhabitant in Armageddon is to face harsh deserts of ash, chemically tainted rivers, boiling oceans, dense jungles filled with carnivorous flora and wastes of fire. Amidst these hellish environs, humanity prospers, seemingly out of spite. They live in gigantic smog choked spires that reach high into the atmosphere. These hive cities teem with human filth and villainy. And yet, their industrial might is critical for the Imperium's survival. As an Inquisitor, it is one of my many duties to protect such a world. By the grace of the Imperium, I do not do this alone. Armageddon is well protected. As the founding world of the Steel Legion, it can muster thousands of highly equipped regiments to its cause. Should even these brave soldiers struggle against an invading Xenos threat, then the Space Marines, superhuman ones beyond imagining, and the Titan Legions, towering god machines armed with unfathomable firepower, can be sunk. But I keep a watchful eye upon Armageddon nonetheless. The planet was invaded before by Dark and I am not convinced that their taint was fully scattered from its lands. The planetary governor grows woefully complacent, ignorant of what awaits in the darkness of space.